Hello everyone. Uh, now this video is regarding Experience Cloud. How you can set up a self service portal uh, for your Salesforce org. Uh, first, let me tell you uh, or let tell you the use case on which we are going to build our uh, service portal. Is that we are going to create a service pool, portal for self service uh, for JPN cases. Like uh, let's say a company needs to create a self service portal from which their customers can register their case by themselves they can see their cases uh, onto that uh, portal and they can perform like uh, they can search different articles for their raving problems so that is what we are going to achieve by using this uh, sales uh, salesforce experience cloud by building our self help portal now to enable our site you need to go to your setup and search for digital experience here in your digital experience settings uh, enable the digital experience and save it now as soon as you save your digital experience you will see that there are more additional uh, components available get will get available under this digital experience uh, setting let me show you that Here, there are all sites, pages, templates, and themes. So uh, let's move forward with creating a site. So go to this all sites here and click on new button. Now uh, there are multiple predefined templates and theme given in our Salesforce org, but uh, there are two other options. One is for or up building, and other is for LWR, which is uh, Lightning Web Runtime. So you can uh, create your site from scratch either by using Aura or by using LWR. Right now I am using the pre pre given uh, like theme here, so that we can get a better view so these are the few pre-given uh, samples as i have told earlier we are going to create a service portal uh, from where our client can register for their case and uh, see their cases uh, close and uh, like close and open cases so i am going to choose this customer service template right here and click on get started uh, now you can um, provide name for your site let me provide it here here uh, now create it and wait uh, until it gets created and show all the components that we are going to use to build the site so here if you see my uh, portal got created self-help portal and these are the component that we are going to use for building um, our page now builder is the main uh, space where we are going to use different components and build the site let's leave the moderation gamification and dashboard for now let's skip to the part uh, of content management so let me show you what is present over content management here so any kind of image or knowledge articles that you are going to provide on to your you know a portal service portal you are going to add those components up here like there is uh, um, content then there is collection there is topic and recommendations so uh, you know all kind of data either it can be a document or image um, collection of images collection of uh, knowledge articles you are going to add up, up to here content management and the main part here uh, other than builder is the administration part you can uh, you know change different settings up here you can Pro, uh, activate your site from here you can change the template then there are preferences here uh, like what are the kind of data 
or access you want to provide for your site then there is uh, you know uh, members here uh, members are basically the profile uh, that uh, needs to be added up here so that they can access uh, you know self service portal or experience cloud like uh, right now only system administrator is selected here so any uh, user uh, other than system administrator won't be able to access this site until unless we add that profile up here up to here so let's add the customer sites customer profile um, select the customer community login and plus users and so here also uh, you need to provide the permission set for accessibility of uh, your uh, cases and knowledge articles and whatever object you want to access onto your site so you need to create a permission set because uh, all objects are not directly accessible to this pro uh, like this uh, these profiles until unless you are the system administrator so add uh, the permission set from here as for now i haven't created any so we are going to come back here and add again then there is site role uh, like uh, default and customer uh, sorry default and custom like uh, if you have changed the label of your objects uh, uh, to some custom label you need to change this setting to custom here now um, next is uh, contributors but let's skip it for now and directly go to our login and registration so in login and registration you can provide your uh, login page logo like which logo is going to appear onto your login page what uh, what should be its background color what should be its login button and what should be its right frame url and these are the things that you also set up on to your my domain actually so this is similar to that now next are emails let's see what is in that section okay so uh, like uh, if you have chapter or email branding enabled up here you can add the logo and footer text up here and you can set the email address and the name from which the email gets sent and these are a few settings related to emails up here then there are pages like there are default home page or other like if you want your home page to be default or some custom built page you can select it from here then there are url redirects and rich publishers uh, let's skip these for now too now next uh, is to create the site itself so just go to builder and you will reach to a page uh, something like this okay so here it is now um, i'm going to stop this video right here and in our next video we are going to see how we can um, you know change the whole look and feel of this website and build this um, site or portal as per our company need so thank you for now